In Game Maker, there is something known as the texture page size. And what I was doing was trying to render this really wide room on a texture page that was too small. So what I had to do was change it to this maximum size here, and it got rid of all the blurriness, because here's what it looked like before. I think I had it on 2048 by 2048, and hit OK. And you can see that this was causing the Mario background to look something like this. See how blurry and ugly that is? I just couldn't figure out what, what was causing that. At first, I was thinking it was this option. And this is something that you really need to keep in mind with pixel art. So if you notice here, there's this option that's referred to as interpolate colors between pixels. And if we were doing anything other than low res, 8-bit, retro looking kind of games, we would probably want that checked. But since we're using pixel art, we want this to be unchecked. When I first saw that that was unchecked, I thought, okay, well then, what could the problem possibly be? Turns out it's this texture page size. Uh, if you look here at my room, Mario, uh, where is it? I've got this huge room. And the way it's going to work is Mario's gonna, he's just going to run across the room and the camera, the little black square here, is what's going to follow him. But what you have to do is you have to look at how big this room is in terms of width. And in this case, uh, let's see, it's, yeah, 6,784 pixel, pixels. So that's really wide and what we need to do to fix that again is just go back into the settings and make sure that we change that texture page to be big enough to accommodate however wide that room is. So now that I've got that saved, I'll just pull the game back up. And you'll be able to see that it's much more smooth now. It's gotten rid of all that. Yeah, see? Actually looks like a game.